Yo guys, what is up? This is Scalmers from Minionox coming back at you with Discord.py episode 11. And today we're going to be making a nice, simple reload command for reloading all of your cogs. So essentially the idea behind this is like, you put a new command into your, uh, your bot, and you just want to, you know, you just want to reload it without having to, you know, restart your entire bot. This is the way to do it. So essentially, we're, we're going to be basing it off this little part down here, except we're going to flesh it out, you know, put an embed. Um, you can even pick to reload only one cog at a time. Like, damn, man, that's sick. So uh, uh, let's get it. Commands.command, because, you know, I want it to be a command. What's the name? I don't know. Maybe, uh... Maybe reload? What's the description? I reckon that, uh... Reload all slash one of the boss cogs. And, uh, you know, at commands to is underscore owner. We're gonna make our own custom checks next episode to, like, stay posted, man. It's like, you know, it's gonna be actually pretty sick. Like... You can make your own custom checks, you know, replace these uh, these boring ones that come built in, you know. Why not? So, we're going to make this uh, for all commands, or uh, just one cog, but for now, let's just reload one cog at a time, so. Because, you know, I want that uh, that typing, I want the bot to tell me that it's doing some work behind the scenes, you know. Technically, it's an artificial thing. Man, damn, I'm so used to doing async def, I just got to say async with ctx.typing. You can find the docs of this online if you want a more in-depth uh, description, but essentially it just uh, does a little icon down the bottom and says your bot's name is typing. While you're pro processing the uh, computationally hard objects. So anyway, we need an embed to work with. So embed equals discord dot, uh, discord dot spelling is what I think it should be, actually. And then I reckon the title can be preloading all cogs, you know, and then uh, the color can be OX808080, why not? And uh, timestamp, oh, you know, I reckon it'd be nice to reload them right about um, now. Cool, uh, so now we've got that, let's just go through for ext in os.lister. Uh, what directory are we going to have a look at? We're going to have a look at the cogs directory. So essentially this is just for every file every file in this here directory get rid of that bad boy by accident for every file in this here directory it's going to go through them all and then if the file is a python file so it ends with .py and it does not start with an underscore you know we're going to go and uh try to unload it so self.bot.unload um, underscore extension and then what's our little format going to be cogs dot ext get rid of the uh, last last three there and now we can just copy this over cool stuff the bot so that'll load and then unload our cog man now you don't have to check if these files exist because that's what list do does it goes through every single file so we're all good there and Let's just add something to our embed so that we can uh, tell the cute little user that, uh, you know, we've actually loaded it for them. F string reloaded. Value equals uh, a nice little bad boy I like to call a blank space character. And then we're just going to go and uh, that'll be enough for now, actually. You know, if it can't load it, we just want to put an exception. So embed.add underscore field. Bam, 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 name equals if. You know, we're going to sleep here. Wait, async io.sleep. And we're going to do that for half a second, you know, just so we can load things and keep everything nice. And then, once we've sent everything, you know, uh, we're just going to go ahead and um, send our embed. So, 
Sweet. Let's go run the bot. Give it a go. Reload. Ready? Steady? Bam! Look at that. Easy peasy. It's even got a sign of a little have command. What more could you possibly want from your bot, man? Actually, you know, you could probably want that formatted a bit nicer. Personally, personally, I like having it in line. Personal preference, so you can do it however you want. And now, let's showcase it. We're going to leave the bot running, and I'm going to reload it. Watch this. So, it's going to stay the same. Now, it's reloaded it. So, if I do it again, watch them all be in line in bid values now. Okay, maybe not. Uh, cool. <laughs> it's the attempt that counts, right? Ah, <laughs> uh, that's all good. It's just because I had to do something special there. But that is no worries. So we can just chuck that in there now. I may have put the wrong value, actually, just in my little copy-paste speed there. But that's all right. So we will just give this a go. Really just stealing my thunder out here, you know? But that's all good, see? I just put the wrong value in there, Matt. So now I think that personally looks kind of cool, but let's say, uh, let's say you want to get rid of that again. So we'll just go back to true. And without even restarting the bot, we're just going to hit reload. We should be good to go. Except this one will be still aligned, but now to reload our bot, so now they're all going to be next to each other. Watch this. Bang! Look, we didn't even restart the bot, it's still running down here with the Mongo error because I have, uh, I haven't given it the Mongo URL, but that's all good, fam. So, now let's add a cog, so cog equals a none. So if we don't have a cog, it means we want to reload everything. So we're just going to go, bam! But if, uh, if we do have an actual cog specified, we're going to go else. Guess what? Copy. Actually, no, I should, probably shouldn't copy and paste that. It's essentially the same for the start, so I am willing to copy that. Cool, cool, cool. So now what do we need to do? I need to form an EXT, so we're actually going to go bam, bam, bam. You know, and then we're going to go... Uh, cog.lower.py So essentially this means all of your cog files do have to be lowercase but this just makes it easier on your users because they don't have to you know specify the cog case sen insensitive is brilliant and now because we're not looping over existing files we can't guarantee that it exists so we have to check otherwise it's going to error so we're just going to go cogs done and then we're going to go cogs slash and then we're going to put ext which is our file so essentially if the file does not exist you know then we're just going to add to the embed we're going to embed dot add underscore field and what are we going to add name equals failed to reload what did we fail to reload we failed to reload at ext why did we fail to reload that cog? Well, because this cog does not exist. Exists. Gosh. Cool. Now, let's move on. So, Aleph. If the cog does exist, we need to check it's actually a file that we want. And then we're going to try to reload it using our same code here. This is all the same. And then in here, we're just going to go accept. Exception. Now, I kind of want more detail. Like, if we're just reloading one cog, that's a pretty small embed, right? Now, I'll show you what I mean here in a second. So, we're going to go and do a thing called, we're going to make a, a variable called desired underscore trace. And we're going to go traceback dot format. And then XT, where it's returned to string instead of printing it to like a file as it says here. Don't want to limit. Well, should we put a limit? Limit equals nah. I think we'll just leave that out for now. If slash when we run into a issue with 
embeds being too big and because of exceptions, we will put a limit on that. But for now, we don't need to. And then we're just going to go failed to reload. When did we fail to reload? We failed to reload the XT. Why did we fail to reload the XT? Well, that is because I just want to add my little inline part here. And then we want to send this a bam 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 else oh wait ctx.send embed equals embed sweet now we can actually just go and reload the bot again believe it or not you know we don't even have to restart this is the, the fact i love it and in a future episode i'll actually show you guys how to integrate this with git so you can just run update it will pull the latest changes from github and reload your bot it's really quite simple so now we're just going to reload again. Ooh. All good. Now I'm going to go and manufacture an error. Uh, moderation. What, what do we want to do here? What should, we, what should we do? Break Python. See how badly this plays up. Reload. Now we should get an error in here. See look. Uh, raised an error. Invalid syntax. You know that's kind of useful but also kind of not useful so we're gonna go and try to manually reload moderation and look at that nice big trace back so you can see up here it just gives you the last line which is kind of useful it tells you there's an error kind of tells you what it is but if you reload it yourself it shows you the full trace back so you can actually figure out what's going on so you can go oh, yeah, error Command's not loaded, it's come from line 141 where I've tried to unload it. Cool, and then you just go bam, 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 line 141 where I tried to unload it because it traces back to 71. Ah, oh, sick. And so now, if I redo this, quite possibly not. Now we've got a new error. Oh, okay, so this is a, this is a, a new one for you guys. So essentially what's gone wrong here is because in our code down here, we actually unload it and then load it. So it's unloaded it already. Failed to do that. So you're actually going to have to go ahead and this is the challenge for you guys this episode. Can you make a load command and an unload command? Because currently here we would need to go and do load moderation, which wouldn't attempt to unload it because this currently tries to unload something that it doesn't actually have which is why it's failing so this is this is where you will have to restart the bot but if we just go ahead and restart the bot for you guys we should be good to go so it's up to you guys this episode i give you the reload command which does both i just need you guys to split that up into a load and unload command you know pretty simple stuff you guys should be able to grasp it it's essentially the same except you know you can just delete that line for a load command and that's essentially it. So now that everything's working, let's just quickly showcase what would happen if you didn't want case insensitivity. So this should work perfectly fine, except the fact that I have still not loaded it in. Now because we're converting to lowercase, this will fail because it's trying to load a file which doesn't exist. Which is all good because we've handled that. But if you hadn't have handled that in there, you'd be having some issues. So just make sure they're all lowercase. And it's up to you guys to you know make your own load and unload commands. I trust you guys can do it. It is essentially the same as this, except you just don't want to have both of these. You only need one. Otherwise, other than that, that's pretty much all. You just want to make sure also that you're importing traceback up here. But you guys should know by now if something isn't defined and you need another import you know just import it at the top you know you're gonna need traceback that's probably the main thing that we don't have also async io because uh timeouts other than that guys this is scummers from menu docs signing off from episode 11. have a good week y'all